Hi, I've just um, just got off the exercise bike. Well, not bike. It's a um, it's one of them um, cross trainer. You can see just there. Anyway, I thought I'd do this video uh, about what I'm doing. I've I've learnt how to live with cancer. I've learned how to um, not how to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis and now this video is about how to um, how I'm I suppose fighting back is the best way of um, of, of describing it so I'm a bit a bit wet and sweaty and um, I'm doing several things that are I don't know they might help someone they might might make someone f get off their backside and do something, I don't know. Um, but I'm going through a sort of a range of things that I'm doing um, in order to become better inside. Just uh, mm. This is one of the things I do. This is a, a berry shake made of fuel which is um, a protein powder, which is full of every kind of nutrient that you could imagine. And then I've got fresh berries in there, um, black forest berries, um, ra uh, raspberries and blackberries and black currants and cherries. And then a fresh and then a, a fresh banana in there, some water, whiz it all up. And that gives me a lot of um, nutrition. I have one of them for breakfast and I, I vary it, whatever's in it. Um, depends what what fruit I use and depends what powder I use from the fuel but generally I think um, that makes me feel really awake and, and alive and it's helping I drink um, two litres of water a day I've got this um, <laughs> you can see that I'm doing pretty well already today that was full I think I've done over a, a litre already I only drink at least two litres of water a day um, along with the vast quantity of medication that I'm still taking for various one thing helps another thing so I'm not a maverick that's going to go out and say I'm going to chuck the medication away and go and fly without a net so to speak and um, you know walk a tightrope with um, with no safety net underneath I'm going to use the medication as long as long as I can and um, I'm going to do all these other things as well and I thought I'd share some of them so I've just done f 40 minutes on the cross trainer just turn that off now because I'm cheating while I'm sitting here it's still running um, to get my heart pumping um, but mainly to get some power back into my arms my arms are like you see they're like matchsticks um, because I've not been able to do anything for a long time um, with my arms and, and so on um, my legs I do still go walking but not as much as I, I, I was but I'm going to change that again I've, I've got a it's like a new year's resolution today starting from this week so 40 minutes on the cross trainer a day um, after this I'm going to have a shower and um, I'm going to do the Wim Hof method where um, in the shower for a, um, a nice warm shower and then gradually I'm going to turn it down until it's freezing cold and yesterday I managed to stay there for 30 seconds um, and it really does fire you up I mean it's unbelievable I mean I, I don't like it I can't say it's a pleasurable experience so I, I've been watching the um, well, the Wim Hof freeze your fear on the TV but also I bought a course from Wim Hof about four or five years ago when he went and he was a young a, a young man in this course and this stuff was was cutting edge what he does and I'm going back into the course again and doing um and trying to get my breathing technique right and um all these things are good for inner healing for self-healing um 
so I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a. I'm going to try and go 45 seconds in the cold shower. I mean, it is. I think my shower's got a direct link to to the North Pole. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so I'm going to jump in the shower, give it a few a few about 30 seconds, and then just whack, turn it right down, um, and then just try to breathe my way through it. And I noticed that if I try and hold my breath, it's it's an absolute nightmare. But just by breathing. And focusing on the breathing, the water feel so cold, the water feeling goes away. And um, it's, it's getting easier. So 45 seconds is my plan for this week. Every day next week it will be a minute. And it will, it will, it will get more and more. Uh, depending on how long I go. Mm. Then after this, after I've had the shower, I'm going to do some mindfulness. I'm going to make it um, a plan for the next two weeks. I'm working from home, so I'm going to find time to sit down for half an hour and get back into real meditation and um, and try to focus just on my breathing. It's really simple, but it's well, it's a simple method, just focusing on breathing. But at the same time, focusing on gratitude as well, thankful for being alive, thankful for breathing, thankful for having a wonderful family. Just thanks to everything that you can while you're, you're, you're focusing on your breathing. If you focus on your heart at the same time, you start cultivating a really good feeling. It's absolutely has an amazing effect on your um, on your biofeedback right through your body, right through yourself. So something I've read about a lot. And I've been practicing, and I'm going to get back into that into in in much more uh, depth in um, in the next few weeks. Um, at some point during the day, I'm going to go for a walk as well um, for an hour. I'm going to try and do an hour. I would go pretty much straight after this, but it's raining, um, and I think. Um, I like to have a little bit of pleasure with it rather than just walking in the rain. Or well, I don't mind walking in the rain. If it rains all day, then I'll just um, I'll get up and um, and get out in it. You know, um, trying to um, I suppose it's like trying to keep myself moving and keep my joints moving. I've got got these two tumors in my hip, my right hip, two in my back as well, two lesions in my back uh, from the cancer and. Um, I think it's important that the exercise, um, that I do the exercise to to try and just keep that moving, keep everything flowing, not so it doesn't seize up, and um, and start to become a real problem. And well, it's a problem, but to become a worse problem than what it what it already is. So I'm going to go for a walk at some point, and then I'm going to do a couple of more mental exercises. Um, I'm going to spend at least half an hour on the guitar, learning the guitar. I bought a guitar a while ago, and I'm hand on heart, I can honestly say, I did it, I got really enthusiastic, and did a few lessons with it, um, online for an app that I paid for, and then, um, <laughs> it's still in the corner somewhere, so I'll dust that off, and um, I'm going to really put focus attention on the guitar playing, so that my mind is focusing on that, it's not focusing on anything negative, um, I don't care how I do, I don't care how good I am, how bad I am, I'm just going to focus on it, enjoying it and um, and seeing what kind of a tune I can I can produce, I might even do something live in a couple of weeks or something stupid like that, um, <laughs> see how we go, who knows, I've really you know, not done much on the video channel for, for a while so this is, this is the first one for a few months, so I'm going to get back on this. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do, another mental exercise, is I'm continuing with my Duolingo Learning Italian, which I do every evening. I spend an hour every evening on that. Um, I think I come third in the Diamond League this uh, this week, and there's someone knocked me off. I haven't checked yet this morning, but I've got that challenge going on. If you did not knock me off, then I'm going to get back up there and uh, <laughs> do it again this week. But I've always... Um, I used to live in Italy... <laughs> And um, I spent four years there in total, um, working as a holiday rep, um, and, and still this to this day remains my passion. I've, I've always had a passion about the country. Um, I lived in the summer in a place called Sorrento, um, 
and in the winter I worked in the Alps in uh, Sousy Doo as a ski rep. Um, married my wife there as well. We got married in Sorrento uh, quite a few years ago now. I can't remember how many, about 16 I think it is. Am I right? I hope you don't watch this. Anyway. Anyway, my love of Italian is still strong and um, I'm going to really, I'm determined to um, to to um, really try and learn it. I'm, I'm doing all right on it at the moment. In between all that, um, I do a little bit of work for my boss uh, from home and um, if I've got any other spare time, I'm going to... I'm going to read a little bit of a book. I'm reading um, Ben Fogel's autobiography at the moment, which is really inspiring. Anything I can do that that just inspires me, all of this stuff is is there to to inspire me inside to 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 make me better inside. Which is the plan is to to, to defeat incurable cancer. That's the plan. Okay, and if anyone's watching watching this um, this video, and um, you know you've got cancer or you've got something, it doesn't have to be cancer. It could be anything. Life throws so much shit at us sometimes, doesn't it? That you know, there's things that you can do. There's things you can do. You can you can you can lay around in self pity, which. I would never blame anyone for doing because when I was first diagnosed with this cancer, that's the first thing I thought of doing until I I realised that that was not the path I wanted to take. But it's eight months, uh, nearly eight months down the line now. Um, oh, great news! I got my MRI result back this morning. Um, I've been worrying about that because it's been about three or four weeks since um, I had that MRI. And um, just a quick message from the doctor secretary to say there was no uh, change. Whether that's good, I was hoping to say it's got better. Um, but no change is good. It's good. It's not got worse. Um, so I've got to really, really hang on to that and uh, think of that as a real positive going forwards. Um, in fact, everything that, that I'm trying to do is positive. Every single aspect of my life at the moment is trying to be positive in as many ways as I can possibly manage. So, um, thanks for watching. And um, I'll be back again, no doubt, I think sometime this week um, with some more words and um, encouragement, maybe, for anyone else. That's, um, if it might help you, I don't know. But um, take care. And um, speak to you all soon. Bye now.